So far in complex analysis, we focused a lot on where functions are analytic. But now it's time to, for us to focus on where our functions break down. In other words, where they are not analytic. This is complex analysis by a physicist, and today we're talking about the different types of isolated singularities. So really simply, an isolated singularity is a point in the complex plane where a complex function is not analytic. We can consider the point as a punctured disk in the domain where the function is analytic. And so what does that actually mean? This is best seen illustrated. Here we have an example of the function 1 per z. Clearly this function breaks down at z equals 0 because we get an indeterminate form. Well, at the point z equals 0, the function breaks down, but in the entire rest of the complex plane, our function is analytic. And particularly this point z0 is what we would call an isolated singularity. But complex functions can have much more than one isolated singularity. Take for example the function 1 on sine z. This function has singularities at 0, plus or minus pi, and continuing integer multiples of pi. These are all isolated singularities, whereas the function is analytic everywhere else in the complex plane. Now with these isolated singularities, we have three different kinds of them. We have poles, essential singularities, and removable singularities. But these are best introduced and best understood when examining the Laurent series of functions with isolated singularities. So here are three functions that we are going to evaluate and examine what kind of isolated singularities they are. With our first function, we have z cubed on 2 minus z. Pretty clearly, there's a singularity at z equals 2. So what happens if we try to expand this function about the singularity? Well, we get the following. So this is the Laurent series of our function. If you need a refresher on Laurent series, I did a video on this previously, and I'll link it in the description down below. With the Laurent series, we know that we can have negative and positive powers of z, and we very clearly have one right here. This type of function, or this type of function with this type of singularity, is what we call a pole. We call this a pole because there's only one term in our Laurent series that has a negative power of z. For our second function, we have e to the 1 per z. There's a singularity here at z equals 0. So if we expand this function about z equals 0, we get the following. Here, we can see that we only have negative powers of z besides our first term. This is what we call an essential singularity. And a, an essential singularity is where we just seem to have infinitely many terms with negative powers of z. I like to think of an essential singularity kind of like a black hole, because I do astrophysics most of the time. And if I fall into a black hole, and we can think of a black hole sort of that it collapses down to a singularity, I'm going to continue to fall to negative infinity, and we can continue to see that we're going to get con continuous negative powers of z here. That's how I think of it. Probably not the best way to think about it, but if it helps, it helps. Here we have sine z per z, which is a function again that I've used a lot in previous other videos. Clearly there is a singularity at z equals zero with this function also, and so we can do the following Laurent series expansion. Here, you can see we only have positive powers of z. And in fact, this is what we call a removable singularity. And we call this a removable singularity because the singularity that we had before expanding is now removed once we expand. So when we use the series representation of the function, our singularity goes away. Being able to identify these three kinds of singularities is really important in complex analysis, and we'll discuss it in future videos. 
But for now, we have a way to really begin to pay attention to the points where our functions break down. And those points are, of course, again, our isolated singularities. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you again next time.